This quick and simple tutorial will show you how to add a contact form on your Wix website. So this will be very quick, very easy. So let's jump into it. So what you need to do is go to your Wix website editor. So go to your sites, go select an edit site and head over to the editor. Now, one thing that I would do first before you create your contact form is create a contact us page. So if you go to pages in the top left hand corner and you click on this downwards arrow, you can then go to manage pages. Here, I will go ahead and click add page and we're gonna call this contact. So we might as well click on the contact page and we can even choose one of these pages. I'm actually going to click blank because we're going to add a contact form manually. So I'm gonna call this page contact us and we're going to click done and I'm going to move it down to the bottom here. Okay, so there we go. We've now added that. So now let's click on this and make sure we're inside that page. Now, the reason I'm going to add it manually is because I want to create obviously the page manually. I might want to add some other stuff and I also need to set up where these submissions are going to go. I need to enable emails so I get a notification every time someone fills out this form. So now we want to go to add elements and you need to look for contact and forms. And then you're going to see my forms on the free plan. I think you can have up to five forms. What I would do is go add existing form and then go to contact forms and choose one of these. I will choose, to be honest, with a contact form, you need it quite basic. And um, But I would just choose, uh, let's just say this one here. So click on it. It's going to then add Wix forms. And from here, we can go ahead and place it wherever you need it to be. So maybe you want to place it here. And that's pretty much the form, right? You just need name, email, subject, and message. Now, if you click on this and then go to edit form, you can also add more fields. Maybe you want their phone number because you might want to reach out by phone. If you want to add that, just click on it and you can obviously add it here. Now we're going to move this up. So there we go. Now we can go ahead and click save, right? So now we've done that, we should have the form updated. So there it is. Now let's go ahead and click settings. And from here, you can also change your layout. So if you go to layout, you can change the side padding, the top padding. And if you go to design, you've got things like the form background, the form colors, you've got the buttons and so on. Right now, pretty much this form's already good. So all I'm gonna do is go to manage. We're gonna go manage forms. And then that will take us here to forms and submissions. And here you see your contact form, right? So here is the form. Now, what you need to do is click on the three dots and to view submissions, you would just go view submissions and that will show you all of the submissions here. And some will go to spam, some will go to trash, but here you'll be able to see all of them. You'll also be able to export those if needed. If you head over to settings, you can make specific fields required and just make sure that the notification is active and that way you'll receive an email when you get a new form submission. And basically that's pretty much all you need to do. Go ahead and save that. And once that is saved, you can just publish your website and preview it. And this form will be working. People can fill it out and you will receive the submission. I hope that quick video helped you out.